Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is part 9 on my VAL Turbo project. As you can see, I've got the car in the shop and I'm needing to remove this rear windscreen because the rubber's a bit tight around there and I wanted to inspect to see if I had some rust around there which it sort of looked like I did from the outside. Now rather than going and spending around $150 for a windscreen guy to come and fit it, um, I decided to remove it myself. I've done this a few times before and it's actually quite simple process. What I did there to start off with is just start to remove the rubber where it lips around the opening for the rear windscreen. Jump in the back seat and get your foot and start kicking it out. If you've got two of you, maybe that would be preferable so that you're not going to kick it out and smash it. But in this instance, I was able to get it out by myself without doing any damage to it. Worst came to worst, I did have a spare one from my previous VL anyway. So the front windscreens in these are a totally different setup. Um, these rear windscreens, the rubber is what holds it in, whereas the front windscreen, they're actually urethaned in, so um, they're a little bit harder to get in and out, although there's no reason that you can't do it, but I would recommend getting the correct tool. It's like a um, blade that goes around on a 45 degree angle, and you can get that up underneath urethane pull it around the windscreen and then pop it out again just clean the entire edge and you'd be able to install it again but for a front windscreen for a urethane windscreen i'll usually leave that one to the pros because um a bit harder to pull out and a bit uh a bit more important to install them uh, correctly but um, for rear windscreens and all the older cars, like lots of the old cars are all front and rear windscreens, a similar setup to this. But anyway, back on to the reinstallation. Now the car's painted. First step is to just get a thinner's rag and clean up the rubber so that it's nice and clean before it goes back in. You could use a bit of prep sole or wax and grease remover, any sort of a uh, solvent that's just going, going to clean that rubber up. And next up, I'm going around with a razor blade with those bits of glue that were gluing on the sunshade, which I don't think I'll be putting back on this car. Um, so clean all that up, just clean all the edges up where all the dirt is, uh, has accumulated underneath the rubber, flip it up, and I'll be cleaning the inside just with a bit of Windex and a clean rag as well. I know this is a little bit of a different video than most of my videos, which are mainly dedicated to spray painting, but there's more than just spraying a car going into the repair process, and this is part of a video set on my VL Commodore, so I wanted to do a entire video set of it. If you don't like it, call somebody who cares, because I really don't care if you don't like my videos. I did not make you watch this video. So a quick list of the tools and equipment that you're going to need when you do want to put a rear windscreen in. Yeah, of course you can do it in your garage. You can do it at home. All you're going to need is some speaker wire or some rope, just a bit of windscreen sealer in a corking gun, some rags, some Windex, and a mate to give you a hand putting it in. A it back in as you saw me before you can pull them out by yourself but you would really struggle trying to get them back in alone another thing that I found helps when you're putting these back in is to put a little bit of oil or just CRC spray can around the edge of that rubber just to help it slide in when you're going back in now I'm happy I've got my rubber and windscreen cleaned up it's time to put it back on Make sure you get a nice tight fit the entire way around. Uh, in this case, it wasn't worth replacing the rubber. It was pretty good condition. There was no big splits in it. There was one little nick out of it, but something that I decided I'd be able to live with. I'm not even sure if this is something that the windscreen fitters do or don't do. It's just an idea that I had to help slide that rubber in by just spraying a little bit of oil around the edge of that rubber where it uh, slides in. So I'm obviously making sure I don't cover the entire window that I've just cleaned with oil. You could get a rag and wipe it on if you wanted. Next step once the oil's on is to get my rope in. I've actually used speaker wire um, before and had it work quite well. Got to make sure it's in there nice and tight. If you had a speaker wire that was too thin of a gauge and it'll probably be flopping about and falling out when you go and try and fit it back into the car. I also like to get each end and tape it down to the inside of the windscreen and that's just going to stop it from getting in the way once you're trying to put 
put the windscreen in and stop it from coming back onto the outside or going somewhere you don't want you can then peel the tape off and you'll see the next stage as we go once i'm happy i've got that rope in nice and tight and taped in i'm putting in my windscreen sealant so this stuff here will never actually go hard it's just a sealer to stop the water from coming in it's not going to be what holds the windscreen in the rubber holds the windscreen in if you do find that your windscreen is still leaking after you've got it in there's actually nothing stopping you from lifting the edge of the rubber up and getting your gun in there and putting a bit more of that windscreen sealer in there before I've done that before in the past and it has worked but just make sure there's no water in there when you are doing stuff like that so give it a good dry out first now we're ready to go in I've grabbed my mate just to help hold the other side and push the rubber in as I'm going to be pulling that rope so when you do go in you want to try and get it in nice and evenly don't try and get one edge in first and then work your way around try and get the whole rubber in uh, the whole screen in nice and even and then you'll be able to work your way from one corner and go around as your mate pushes it in so you can see i'm on the inside and he's pushing as a lot of pressure and then pulling the rope up will actually pull the lip of that rubber around the channel that the window sits in in real time remove and refit of this whole windscreen probably only took about 10 minutes and most of that time was cleaning up so the actual removing and refit is quite a simple job. It's, there's not much to it. There's just a couple of things that you want to, a um, couple of those little tricks like putting a bit of oil there helps it pop in and make sure you've got a nice amount of sealer around the edge so that you're not going to have water leaks. Um, I refuse to pay a windscreen fit $150 to do something that is so easy. I see them come into workshops, spend five or 10 minutes on a job and then they're given the boss or me in this case, a $100 bill plus. There's the job done anyway, just about it. Um, it's probably easier to remove and refit that windscreen than what it would be spending hours and hours trying to get them, uh, your masking around that edge correct. And then you would always have a bit of a masking edge and uh, tape not sticking to the rubber and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. Bit of um, wax and grease removal will clean up any of that windscreen sealer that you've left behind. And here we go with the car. As it is at the moment, um, I actually have moved a little bit further on since this video here. Um, I've done a few touch-ups and stuff like that. Be sure to read the description below if you'd like to check out all my other social media and my website. There's links to that below. But there you go. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Now you've seen this video, get out there and fit a windscreen. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman Production. Goodbye.